and non-linear animation. It can get more complex like a lot of these things. So we're actually just going to basically do the movement across the ground by, by uh, moving the empty, just scaling the speed of it, working out what looks right. And you can alter the speed of the, the wiggle and against the speed of the empty, the root empty, and get a, an effective looking uh, walk for your caterpillar as it moves across the ground. Now at the moment we've only set just a simple walk cycle, but what you can do is you can set other, um, other things into the NLA editor, so you can have different animations which blend together, that's, the, uh, that's a, another strong feature of it. I actually want this to go quite a few more times than that because 28 frames, uh, that's only just over a second of animation. So let's double that up again. Um, let's give it, make it 52 and obviously the repeats then, uh, repeats we then double up, change that to 8. So it's repeating the, the walk cycle, the walk, walk um, MLA 8 times. So again we get, if we're going to see the full animation there we need to change the end of the um, animation, ex the app, which would be the output of the export of the animation to the number of frames that we've set. And uh, you'll then see that it uh, keeps going because we've got the NLA being processed. So it cycles through all those animations. Now we're going to, um, if we insert a location rotation for the uh, empty at, at frame 1, Changes to a 3D view, change the to a top view. Um, if we uh, grab our uh, grab our MT and move to the position where we want, I'm just have a look in the camera, look at the camera view to see what position I'd like it in. Um, I just realised I've made a mistake. I think I must have had the wrong thing selected there. I'll review it in a minute. Um, so, okay, we're not going to move them. Let's move it frame one, I, insert, position, location, rotation. And um, now we just need to step through the frames to somewhere near the end of our animation. 52 frames is fine. Grab it. And then do I to insert, location, rotation. Um, Actually, let's just rotate it a bit so that it's moving, rotating slightly as it walks towards the camera. This is very basic, but you'll get the idea. Doing the basic things before you dive in and trying to do more complex things is the best way to learn with Blender. Because what we're doing here um, is exactly the same as you do with more complex models, more complex animations. If we have a look at the animation, preview the animation, you can see that that's the little caterpillar wriggles and walks towards the camera, which is what we want. Done this before. Set it. Set the AVI codec. Choose a compression type. We'll use a Windows Media. Set an output location for the animation, and uh, choose choose a suitable place to to put the uh, the animations I'm just going to create put it into a, a test test folder there I call it walk one 100% um, render uh, or uh, if, set it on to um, set it on 75% of the size that I've got set this time and then kick off the render and then review it and uh, tweak it however you like. It's just a, an introduction to an interesting subject.